What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we're doing episodes 29 and 30. First one is called There is Only One Answer. Very curious about that. We are in the Winter Cup preliminaries. We are doodling on this team with the guy who was super horny, doesn't think Rico's cute, so we have to beat him. Um, Kagami is busting open the door to the Prodigy's room. Crazy. Very excited. Hopefully, you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. If you guys want to know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel, make sure you guys subscribe, click that notifications bell, check out that Patreon for the full uncut episodes, early access up to four episodes ahead. Let's hop into this. Kuroko no Basket, episode 29. There is only one answer. Let's do this. So at the same time we're doing good, Shutoku is, Midorima specifically, is draining them. And they win. Oh, and he's feeling energetic. He's feeling excited. He's feeling pumped. Say Shinkan, hi. Oh, did I? Did I not get them? Oh, they're just doing giving us the whole all teams. So us, yep. Say Shinkai, Shutoku, and Kirisaki Daiichi. It's a hard name to say. Alright. Mmm, we showed Momui, but we haven't shown anybody else. Not a single so not a single soul. I like it. And all of a sudden, he's behind him. That's like the fourth person who said that. So, like, if Kagami's also agreeing, it has to... But he couldn't bring the ball with him. Yeah, I see. I see. He's been, work, he's been working at it like crazy. Man's been putting in the work. The work, to say the least. Alright, so Takeo. Oh no, this is Izu uh, Izuki. I didn't even realize this was Seirin. He looks so much like Takeo right there. Man, the pacing in this show is immaculate. So is this the team we had two practice matches against during the summer and they beat us? That would make more sense as to why I don't recall them too much. Kiyoshi going in ham. Great pass. Ooh, great redirection. <laughs> uh, by 17. That's it. We won. End of the fourth. So I'm telling you, the pacing. I was just worried about them just five minutes ago. And now we're already beating them. And this is Takeo. Heck yeah, my boy. They're like, I have my power thrown for skins. Ooh, great pass. Great shot. So they were analyzing Seirin, kind of throwing the Shuto, uh, the Shutoku match like they were saying, just so they can get some scouting done and then win the next two matches, I assume. And uncrowned king. He's a truly unpleasant player. Hmm. I need to know more. The rivalry is strong. I love how we have a rivalry of so many teams. Jutoku, Toho, uh, what the fuck? Kaijo, another great one. Upsets do happen, you know. Oh, yeah, they respect you guys too much. <laughs> I 
Hanamiya. It's gonna be the yep, the guy who Mitorima says is an unpleasant player. Uh huh. Yep. Yoshi was the Iron Heart, right? They'd been born in another era. They would have also been their own GOM, but they just happened to be one year older than the slightly better GOM. Uncrowned Kings, and Hanami is one of them. The bad boy. Okay. Okay. The antithesis, the rival. He's the most dishonest. I get it. Similar to like Murasaki Barra, how he's passionless, and Kuroko's only driving force is passion. They're just antithesis, antithesi of each other. Kind of a backhanded compliment. We're already here. This pacing is insane. I was about to say, is that Reagan from Mob Psycho? <laughs> it did look like him for a second, but no, my boy Kise. Obviously, got to come watch the game. I want Aumine to come watch the game, too. I firmly agree with that. Firmly. Never want to feel that way again. He's fired and ready to go. <laughs> Oh, don't talk to me. I'm on edge. Whoa, he's taking this more serious than we've ever, ever seen him. I need to have this mentality when I'm playing Valorant. <laughs> just shoot. I just need to shoot people in the head. Oh, we're all hungry for this dub. Give some respect where respect is deserved. Come on. Oh. That is true. Only one to block it that we've seen. This time he's at full power, and we got Kiyoshi. Mm, that's some big responsibility. It's some pressure on my man's shoulders. And he's more than down. That's the GOAT. Ooh, so is Kuroko. Yeah, without Takaya, I want a constant mark on Kuroko. Kuroko's just going to have free reign. Oh, no. That's a horrible first thing to... Not even his, his first shot here. Just smacked away. Talk about an intense first play. Oh my god. I know. He knows. I don't think he's saying that like he's depressed or bummed about it. Yeah, I don't think he's acting weak. He's saying it to come up with like an alternative strategy, you know? So he anticipated this? Foul him out. What is, what's his plan? Oh yeah, don't get me wrong. No one's underestimating you, my boy. Wow. I mean, if all he worked on was endurance training as well, and he can up the amount of times he can shoot, I would say shooting is less tiring than it is jumping. Which he does, it technically is a jump shot, so he is jumping at the same time, but Kagami is jumping, jumping. Damn. Oh, damn, man, come on. All right, on to episode 30. This one's called I've Been Waiting for This. Let's see what this is all about.
so they're still going at it second quarter uh we're up by seven kagami and midorima just doing their typical back and forth yeah kagami is feeling winded you could tell and midorima's got some juice still left in them takeo yeah he literally eliminates kuroko damn near from the game you know Pump fake. Yeah, I like how they animated that. How we like physically like got smaller here. Yeah. A double jump. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to go for like your maximum vertical, like time after time, like jumping as high as you can. It's exhausting. Ooh. Did he tap it? He tipped it. Yep. Oh yeah, that second super jump. Great rebound. Never see my boy Kuroko getting rebounds, right? <sighs> Talk about direct over to Izuki. Yeah, see, once you start adding pump fakes, you start getting in his head. So he just goes for it and then it's wraps for you. Yep. Because you can't not jump. And he goes for another double super jump. Kiyoshi with the assist. Say it again and again, but you won't say it for me. Ooh, yeah, that is an anti Midorima thing. He's Mr. Give it to me, I'll shoot it. Everyone's shocked. Like, what? He passed the ball? Then, yeah, you just outnumber him in the paint. Something so simple that I would have never thought about, but it's like, oh yeah, wait, he really doesn't pass. Yep, and this makes them stronger than ever. They're more than formidable. And yeah, you can tell he's very veteran when it comes to this sort of role. Like, he's played so many games, experienced so many situations like this where he knows what to do. Keep calm, cool, and collected. Hopes remain high, you know. It's like the Captain America of the squad. Uh-huh. Damn, my man is turning into a ghost. Yep. Good. Always have faith in our our uh teammates. And I want to see his new drive very soon. I want him to use it against Hanamiya, though. It is most definitely getting pretty interesting. Yeah, what are we going to do? With Kiyoshi so focused on Midorima as well. Okay. We're not focused on defense. We're focused on offense. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Ooh, great passes. Ooh. Talk about a pass. Ooh, Junpei. Wet. Yeah, Kiyoshi and uh, Junpei would be like the combo, right? <laughs> yeah. Especially with Kiyoshi being as good as he is at getting rebound, if, and Junpei happens to miss, boom, right back to him. Wet. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. But doesn't always work, sadly. Otsubo got a great rebound. And he gives it to Midorima. Who's going to shoot it across the entire court. Ooh. Finally, the one chance he's been free this whole game to just shoot it. And he drains it. Super long. 
<laughs> That's the end of the second quarter. Halfway through. Valid point. When you put it like that, yeah. Ooh, also a valid point. And he's benched right now. Yeah, he's going to want to do something. I love how of all the people... That, like, don't get me wrong, Almine has an unparalleled, especially compared to anyone else, level of respect for Kuroko. I think a lot of people on the GOM do because they know he's so different from your average player, but they know he's the real deal. I just love Kisei's specific relationship with Kuroko because Kisei was like, why is this dude my mentor? This dude's ass. And then now he's constantly saying how much he admires is inspired and respects Kuroko. I just love that so much, you know? Kisei is honestly the boy. I love Kisei. All right, second half of the match starts now. We're up by two points. But when are we going to do that? We have to put them in on a pivotal time, like you said, before they get too ahead. But also not too early to where they can get used to it, you know? What are you going to do? Okay, talk about the granny pass. Kagami's a second behind. And there goes that. There goes our lead. You guys heard that voice crack? That wasn't me, I swear. I don't think I've ever seen Mido Rima smile on this whole show. Uh, who is that, number eight? Miyagi? Okay, I respect his drive. Wanting to be more than just known as Mido Rima's team. Okay, we got Kimura number five. Shouts out you. Shouts out these first years. <laughs> We're so used to our Kagamis and our literal six foot seven monster brawl like high schoolers. Can't jump anymore. He's hitting his limit. And now they have a five point lead. Yep. Look at this. Look at his calf starting to like throb spasm. He smiles. See? I feel like I never see it. He's enjoying the game. I think so. Kuroko inspired him that it's it's a level deeper than just pure winning and losing, you know? I've stopped thinking relying on others' weakness. Right? It's time. It's time. They're like, wait, they're changing members? He's finally coming off the bench. We're going to get to see his new drive in action. And we're going to see it next episode, aren't we? I... <laughs> Talk about the pacing. Like, we were still at the goddamn uh, pre... I mean, we still technically are at the prelims, but, like, we... I was still thinking we're going to have the other team maybe talk about their afterwards, whatever, but no. Beat them. They're already back there. Beat the next team. They're already back there. So we're going against um, Shutoku. Yes, we're 1-0. and We need to go 2-1. and We can't lose two. So we need to go 2-1 and or 3-0. and We have to go against Shutoku and then the other team. Which, does it say here? I don't think it says. But that is the guy Hanamiya's on, who was another one of the GOMs from the non-GOM, the year older than the GOMs. 
and they would have been insane had it not be for the generation of miracles so of those five uncrowned goms they're called the uncrowned kings i like that uh iron heart kiyoshi then the most dishonest player apparently is hanemiya so we'll have to see if he's only dishonest in terms of his outside play like uh he doesn't show his cards he has sneaky plays he waits to show you the ace in his sleeve or is it more like actual shady shit like he'll foul you but try to buy off the ref or like is it actual dishonestness or is it just more like you know we can get along you know like i need to know because actual dishonesty i'm like nah we ain't fucking with that i'm curious but overall fantastic match fantastic episodes this next match between us and shutoku absolutely insane i am very excited especially with midorima and kisei and Mom, we all watching well, not watching getting perspective on this getting how much kuroko's inspired him seeing kuroko's new drive i'm so excited for there's a whole lot of things it's a plethora a lot of people a lot of you guys have been telling me that season two is your favorite and then season three is amazing and the movies amazing. oh i'm so excited there's so many we haven't even uh gotten to see murasaki bar in an official game we haven't even got to see akashi in an official game like I'm ready for some more Kuroko. It's not even funny. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in those comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Um, check out that Patreon, early access, and full length, all that jazz. Other than that, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.